Hey, it's Amanda from Fundamental Home, and I just wanted to give you guys a video update because I recently did a blog post called Six Gifts Under a Dollar That Will Last Beyond Christmas, and everybody's really seemed to appreciate that particular blog post, and I had something happen this week that was related to it. Um, one of my suggestions was to get things from the thrift store, and my oldest son happened to be in the thrift store this week, and he said that he saw some things that he thought I might appreciate, and he purchased them for me. And I wanted to show them to you because I said in the blog post you can find amazing things at the thrift store. Um, one of the things that I've been wanting for a long time was an Atlas pasta maker. I don't know if you know anything about pasta makers, but um, it's just one of those pasta makers that people like really <laughs> a lot. And um, my husband likes the Frugal Gourmet, which is a long time ago, I know. But the Fruit Bowl May had an Atlas uh, pasta maker, and so my husband has just always liked the idea of having one too. So uh, we've never had one because they're, they're very nice, and Brian found us a, an Atlas pasta maker in the box. And it actually has all of the pieces, comes with the instructions, um, has everything we need, and I looked on eBay just to see what these sell for, and this particular model sells for between eighty and ninety dollars. So um, this he purchased for one dollar. And this is fresh. I just want you know all these things I'm showing you who just purchased these and I haven't cleaned them up. So let me go ahead and show you I know I closed it. I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like. It's it's not like it's really um, dirty or anything. It just looks dusty from being kind of laid around. There we go not in bad shape at all. That's really shiny. doesn't look like anyone's really used it. So I'm excited to have this. This is something I've wanted for a long time and this is like a super Christmas gift. <laughs> and yes, it's not Christmas yet and he already gave it to me, but that's okay. We're counting it as a Christmas gift. It's going to go under the tree wrapped up nice and pretty. Maybe I'll make some pasta for Christmas. So let me show you some of the other. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is um, they're all Pampered Chef stoneware. And Brian was able to find four pieces of Pampered Chef stoneware for a dollar each. So he got all five of these gifts for five dollars, and that's a really great bargain. Now, I'm a Pampered Chef collector, and I just I love having the stoneware. We use it all the time. Now, if you had Pampered Chef stoneware, I'm going to show you one that I've had for a really long time. This is not one of the gifts. This is mine. Here's one that I've had for a really long time. You can see how dark brown it is. And in comparison, here's a brand new one. And this one was also found at the thrift. This one I actually purchased brand new from Pampered Chef many, many years ago. It was my very first piece of Pampered Chef. And I've had it a long time and it's well loved. This one we actually found at the thrift store. Brand new. Looking beautiful. And I try to keep the brand new pieces for Brianna, my daughter, because, you know, in a few years she'll want to take up her own housekeeping. So we keep the brand new ones aside for her because I don't mind using the used ones. But I'm going to show you the ones that Brian got me. Um, when he went to the thrift store the other day, and you can see some of them look newer than others. And I'm going to tell you right now, I haven't cleaned them. They're still sitting in the box. I don't know if I'm going to see if you could look down here real fast and see the box that they're in. I, I haven't even taken them out of the box yet. Brian bought them to me as a gift, and I said thank you, and I appreciated it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you the items. I'm just pulling them out. They're not clean yet. I will clean them up. But this is how they came. Okay, so this is the small bar pan. And you can see it's kind of dirty, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it's really not in bad shape. I don't think anybody's used it too, too much. It doesn't look dark, dark brown like my loved one, but um, it's also not brand new, but that's okay. I actually don't have a small bar pan, so I was really excited to get this to use for us. Okay, so this is the second pan that he got me. It's a square baking pan, and I actually have two or three of these already, um, but we use them quite a lot. I actually use them a lot to bake chicken or make brownies. So it's something that I use quite a lot. This one is actually kind of grayish in the middle. And in case you don't know, that actually comes, somebody tried to use a scrubbing sponge on this rather than using the scraper that you're supposed to use. Um, so I actually, I had done that when I first got my Pampered Chef pans and it did this. So I know exactly what it's caused from. It's not anything that's bad. So I'm not too worried about it. I'll clean it up myself. I'll oil it. I'll get it in good shape. And then it'll be perfectly ready to use for a dollar. It's a great bargain. Brian also got me a fluted pan, which it doesn't, this has some wear just from sitting on the shelf. Um, and it's, it looks like it's maybe been used once or twice, but the inside is nice and clear. It's a little dusty from being in the box, 
but it's it's nice and clear. It hasn't been used too much. I think just a little bit of elbow grease, and this one will be cleaned up really nicely, and it'll be great for the holiday um, fluted fluted pan cakes. So that'll be excellent. And then the last thing he got me is a stoneware bowl, and I actually do have two or three of these also. Um, this one isn't brand new, but it doesn't really look like it's been used. It's just got some scrapings on it from um, being on the shelf or rubbed against by different things. But it's, it's really in great shape, it's a little dusty, but perfectly fine. I actually think once I get this cleaned up, since it's really not used, I might put this with Brianna's collection, something for her to have when she gets a little older. So even though it was a gift to me, um, he, he doesn't mind when I give them to Brianna because he knows, you know, she's preparing for a future and we like to put things aside and make sure that we have things for her. So I just wanted to show you that these gifts uh, are available to be purchased. I just to show you that um, these are the kinds of things that you can maybe find at the thrift store. If you were scared to go out there thinking that you weren't going to find anything that was really good or valuable, um, this is just some of the kinds of things that moms might enjoy um, if they don't mind something that's not perfect. I know this mom doesn't. So, um, or it's something maybe that you can find and put away like we do for your daughters. So, um, just keep your eye out, go out to the thrift stores, take a peek around. You might find something that's really valuable and get a great deal on. Probably the overall value for all of these Pampers Chef pans, I'd say at least $200, $250. And Brian got them for $5, so it was a really great bargain. And uh, that's what we're all about this year is bargain shopping and trying to find things that are valuable and are going to last. And these pans that have lasted, I've had that one Pampered Chef pan for a solid 15 years. So, <laughs> I mean, a, a good long time. So, um, you know, these are going to last us a really long time and the ones that are going to Brianna will last her family a long time. So these are gifts that are going to keep on giving. So. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Fundamental Home. I hope that you will join us again next time. And uh, check out our blog and make sure that you are subscribing both to the YouTube channel and the blog. And uh, also like us on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow me on Pinterest. I'd love to see you around social media. So thanks again and have a Merry Christmas.